Hello, Davina here and welcome to another up tutorial in our series from UsefulGraphicDesignTutorial.com Today I'm going to show you how to create an RSS icon using Inkscape version 48.1 The video is going to be in two parts and after the first part the icon will look like this The techniques that we're going to be exploring are using gradients, creating arcs, blurring and alignment. Now this is a basic icon which you can use on the web or in print. In part two I'm going to add embellishments to it so that it looks a little more realistic I suppose and it will look like this. I must stress that you don't need to complete part two to create your icon and be able to use it however you want to. But if you want to have a go at part two, that would be great. And see you there then. Let's get creating. What we're first going to do is change the size of the page. So we go up to File, Document Properties, and I'm going to put in 256 pixels by 256 because that's going to be the size of the icon. We need it a bit bigger so that we can see what we're doing so magnifying glass and zoom in a couple of times. Okay so this is still the page and we're going to use the rectangle tool and create a square. I'm now going to make this square 256, 256 by 6. And to save fiddling about trying to fit it in here, I'm going to show you a nice easy way using the align command. Have your rectangle selected and go up to this icon here and you'll get the align distribute. And what we're going to do is, there's a drop down list here with a number. We want to align to the page and we want to do it, centralise it vertically and centralise it horizontally. And that's all you have to do. We're now going to duplicate this square and it's Control D or you go up to Edit and Duplicate. And I'm going to give it a stroke of one pixel. I'm going to reduce the duplicated rectangle to 185 by 185 pixels. And again, we're going to center it with the page, so it's up to the align tool and center. OK. This box here is only going to be a guide and you'll see what for in a, in a moment. We're not going to keep it there, we'll get rid of it. Let's move that over a bit. And what we're going to do now is draw a circle. So click in there and hold the control key down. I'm going to give this a stroke of 40 pixels. No. And you'll see why in a moment. I'm going to remove the fill and the quick way to do this is click on the X. I'm going to make sure that the circle is 370 by 370. It's quite useful to click the padlock here and that will lock those in. I'm now going to duplicate this, Control D, and holding the Shift and Control key and dragging the handles, I'm going to drag that in like that. I'm going to change this to 236. I'm just going to check that they're both 
stroke is 40. And that's slightly too big. 40. And that's not big enough. I'm going to align the little one with the big one. So click the first one and then click the big one. Go up to the align tool. And it's last selected this time. And vertical, central, horizontal. Right, now what we're going to do is click the first circle, the big one. Go up to path and object to path. Come down to the node tool and you will see four nodes. We're going to select each one, holding the shift key, select, select, select. Go up to the fourth icon here, which is break path at selected nodes. Click on that and go into the first node on the right hand side, click, delete, and go around and do the next two and that will leave you with a quarter of the circle. We're going to do the same thing with the little one. So it's select, path, object, path, node, select the first one, shift, select the other two, go up to the force icon, break the path, and then come down to this one, click, delete, click, delete, click, delete. You'll see that the ends of both these quarter circles are on a slope. So we're going to straighten them out. So click each one and then go up to path and stroke to path. Much better, isn't it? What we're going to do now is put these two into here. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold shift, click that and group it. I'm also now going to click, hold and shift the square, go up to a line. It was last selected, so I'm going to vertical axis and horizontal. And you'll see it has fitted into that square very nicely. We're now going to draw another circle, another perfect circle. Okie doke. We're going to remove the stroke for this and the way to do that is hold the shift key down and click the X. I'm going to select it. I'm going to change the size to 45 pixels and I'm going to colour it black. Uh, it's selected. I'm going to select the square and up to a line. Last selected, we're going to centre it to the left edge and down to the bottom. And as you can see, it's all neatly fitted in. And that's what the square there was for. So we're going to click on that and delete it. I'm now going to select all three and colour them. So the quickest way to do this is go up to select all objects or control A. But I don't want the background so hold the shift key down so you're still just left with those. And I'm going to change the colour to white. Now I'm going to duplicate this group, so control D, and I'm going to change the colour to black. Give this a blur of 2 and we're going to move it behind and we do this several ways. There's that one there or there is, oh it's object isn't it, um, raise page down home end. I'm going to click on the second one because I just want it to go down one. And if we make it a bit bigger, 
off there. Let me zoom in. You will see that there's a, a slight fuzzy edge around the white circles or arcs. That just gives it a bit of definition. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to round the corners. And if we double click on the background, you will see Rx and Ry. And I'm going to put 40 in both of these. And that's given a nice rounded corner. And that is your basic icon. If you want to see what the icon looks like, go up to View, click on Icon Preview, make sure selection, if it isn't, it goes, oh, it's all right there. And then you will see, if you click on that one, that's 16, that's 48 by 48, 32, 24, and 128. Forget about this one. This is magnified, and you can see it's pixelated. And that is, your, as I say, your basic icon and it would be very easy to change the colour because all you would do is click on the background and just give it a green or a red. But we'll come back to blue. If you want to continue with the embellishments, I'll see you in part two. See you there then. Bye.